Oh, snowing. Awesome. Tell you what, waking up having that bloody fire makes a huge difference. I'll tell you what, this little anchor charging unit, A-N-K-E-R, is unbelievable. It's charged three iPhones, two GoPros, and the Nikon camera. This is day six of our tar hunt. Yeah. Pretty accurate, eh? How accurate do you reckon this thing is? Very accurate uh, forecasting. It's Very, unbelievable, eh? It, it's been bang on the whole way through, by the hour. This thing is unbelievable. So go to track me, I'll give you the link below. You can check out all of the features, you can check out all of the benefits of signing up with Trap Me on the website. A lot of people say, oh, don't get the, the Garmin in reach because it doesn't go straight to New Zealand SAR. Well, we fired one of these things off, we were with Track Me NZ, and we were communicating directly with the rescue helicopter. So whoever posted that on the internet doesn't really know what they're talking about. I think you have to sign up with Track Me though to get that service. Ooh. It's actually the perfect amount of snow because we'll be able to see the tar. They'll stick out like dog's balls and there's not really any on the ground so we can get around really easily and we're going to stay dry. The boys, boys might have a bit of a workup going on over the top. Bro said he saw a bull and some nannies right across from camp there. So I'm just going to walk at the top of the hill and have a bit of a look. This Outback trading jacket is mean for glassing around camp with its long tail. It's bloody cold. It's still good, it's alright, it's just a little bit of bloody dirt. If I ever open the restaurant, don't come and eat there. <laughs> Trying a new mouse trap out. I just dumped a whole bunch of milk powder on top of the water in the pot, and I'm just hoping the mice are just going to commit suicide by jumping in after it. We're going to make a move. It's midday. Gale Southerlies predicted for this afternoon. Snow to 500 meters. A full retard today to a tar camo. Let's see how this stuff handles the snow. I've got a uh, MKM woolen undershirt on, a Stony Creek thermal, and this Frostline jacket and the Frostline pants on. Woolen socks, lower boots, and then I've got a uh, Stony Creek micro fleece gloves on. Just a bloody advertisement right here, walking advertisement for Stony Creek. And I've got the Stony Creek puffer jacket in my pack and an extra thermal in case it gets real cold. Oh, and the uh, pack light raincoat and the Dream Ball pants, waterproof pants. So I'm fully equipped to spend a night out in the open if I have to. Hopefully it won't come to that. Everyone is on a bit of a downer. It's like we're standing at the wall. We're on the southern side of the wall. We're about to go north of the wall and everyone's standing there second guessing themselves going, I don't know if this is such a good idea. There's green aplenty down there and up there there's just rock and ice. I'm going up the valley. What? I'm going up the valley. Haha, <laughs> that's the spirit. This is not ideal because all the bush is wet and I don't have waterproofs on. I've just got the frost line windproof range. So I'll find out what it's like when it gets wet and that wind picks up. I've got a raincoat in my bag and a puff jacket in case shit it's a fan. I was kind of hoping to stay dry through this crap but I'm already soaked from the waist down.
comes the severe gale southerlies that they forecast are howling up the valley. Will be good though. It's not going to rain, it's just going to snow. So if it was raining, it'd be a different story. I'd be hightailing a bit to camp, but yes, it's going to get breezy. Binocularing time. Almost at the head of the valley. Still blowing his guts out. It's blowing his guts out. The snow's just charging up the valley. It's that really small, corny shit. It's like getting sandblasted. It's brutal. I spied a couple of bulls, not for a good one, but Jack wants a crack, so we've come up side of the hill. We're just getting sandblasted at the moment. can't get up there. We've seen a nanny and a kid, we're going to go blow them out of the water. Just by the bull, he's not big by any means, but Jack's other cape might be rotten by now, so he's just going to smoke him, knock him over, and then hopefully we'll be able to recover him. Looks like he's going to roll into the creek if we knock him. So we'll, uh, We'll shoot him then we'll go and see if we can drag him out. Alright, go! Bang! Thwacked him! Oh, that got him. Right him down the waterfall. Yeah, look at that. We thought he was going to come a gut to there and end up um, dead. But he's still alive. One of that's a gold seam just fly on. Jack might have found the mother load. All right, we're going to bring his pack down the hill and run. We've actually got to get out of here before it freezes because it's really wet underfoot. If this freezes, we are. Skin. Nice, it's not going to be nice and soft. Hardcore, the winds are coming in trying to blow us off. Be almost worth bringing a rock drill and some rebar and putting a via ferrata course around the edge of the cliff just so you didn't have to climb over this bloody hill at the beginning and end of the day this camp's so close but this little knuckle's just a pain in the ass Whew. halfway to the top good day mate We uh, fly to Chicago to play, and yeah. it, was, it was epic. Campbell's going to do a bit of conservation work here before we leave right. and just knock a few nannies on the head. Yeah, you, you, got him. you got him. He's down! Woo! 
There's kill. Good shot. This is for you, Charlie. Oh. <laughs> oh, sharp. That was close, man. That was. I'd, I'd tick that off if that was a. If he had to do the floss to get brownie points, I'm like, yep, that's the floss. Nailed it. I mean, Charlie was doing the 360 one. Charlie's floss is out of control. So long, it's been good to know you. So long, it's been good to know you. So long, it's been good to know you. This dusty old dust is a long I've got to be rolling along. I'll sing this song, but I'll sing it again Of the place that I lived on the West Texas Plains In the city of Pampa, the county of Gray Here's what I love the people This lovely creation right there okay. And then we've got that one right there Wait, who didn't make one? Or do I have to guess? Oh, oh you didn't make one. That's right, you didn't need it. He was out hunting while we were making oh, wait, spoons. I'm impressed. I think these. No, you gotta choose one. There can only be one. Well, I gotta choose which one's better. I yeah. think I had to guess who made which one. No, you have to choose which one's the best one. No, that's not fair. Yeah. Okay, well. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. Got a fence here. Mm, it's hard to say because I like how this one has a, a scraper too, so this one is more. Um, Scrapey? Like, <laughs> <utilizable. laughs> it has a variety of uses. Yeah, I don't know what it is for that right now. But then this is like fancy and would hook onto your pot so it wouldn't fall in. Oh. That's not that. <laughs> uh, I think I like um, I like the Oh, what? Oh, it okay, it's up to you, okay, folks. I like this one the best. Actually. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> Is it yours? Ah, oh, coincidentally, yes. Good answer, good, good answer. Well I done. I thought they would have been like that. Oh, you would have made this one. The scraper. Like well, mine actually yeah. started a lot better than I just keep but taking bits off it. If I had to only bring one in to the bush with me, I would There you go. So yeah, fair call. Cool. Yeah. Mine's a bit delicate. Mine would probably break. Well. Well, I don't think yeah. mine would handle the snack. stew. Yeah. That's an yeah. ore as well. And then, yeah, yeah that's right. Not yours. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Your one got thrown to the side for later, probably. But maybe Debs will be mad at her anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> she is pursed off on the wall. I don't know if he's at this office. Oh, yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah. I, can, Who gives I could feel the vibrations coming out of the telephone. Do you mind having you hit No, no, we're not saying who's Second chance, Charlie. Bryce is determined to win the competition here. This one. Oh. <laughs> Rough as guts, eh? I think this one. Why, why is that one the best? My, my guess the spoon is pretty bad, but this is <laughs> Oh, multifunctional, there you go. <laughs> well, on the home front, Bryce is leading two to one. Jack's still in last place. Jack's going to make up for it. Jack's slowly falling behind. Oh, you got second. You got second. Oh, oh you got second. Oh. Jack, you got second. That's good. And Dad wants those. You could also use yours like mortar and pestle, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else could you use it for? <laughs> 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 Bye. See you, Josh. Rory doesn't want to be in his way. You see, when I, when I just made the decision to start a family, I thought I'm going to have just the perfect family we'll all sit down and have dinner together at the same time and the kids won't have devices i had dinner and there wasn't even devices when i'd have five dogs big house 
and there'd be heaps of room to swing a cat and there wouldn't be shit everywhere. My kids are going to have perfect table manners. Mmm, perfect yummy lucky. I'd have the most beautiful wife in the world. I basically Daddy. nailed that one. It's just the rest of the stuff. Daddy. Just so you fellas know, our family's pretty dysfunctional too. Daddy. Screaming and the yelling and the arguing and the crying. I tell you what, it's just as well it's about hanging out with mates. <laughs> Otherwise my duck shooting career would be over. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm going to make a TV show about duck shooting and everyone's going to, no you're not, you never shoot any ducks. <laughs> it's going to be a shit TV show. Boy keeps running out into the pond, running up and down looking for ducks and we keep yelling at her. She's a good dog. Look at her out there, looking for ducks. We got a good variety of quacks today, didn't work with her. <laughs> right, come on, Dan. Get, let him have it. Dan gives them the comeback. They turn on the comeback, and they're, they're coming this way, but then they didn't. They went the other way. Just two in and they landed about 80 meters downstream. You can see them from here. We're just, just sneaking up on a few ducks. They've gone into the willows. Here he goes. Stealth years. There's two mallards in there somewhere. He's so quick on that pump, isn't he? Yeah, it was good, mate. He's so quick on that pump action. Was that a pump action? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, beauty. One each. No, nothing actually. My new duck camouflage riverbed shooting outfit. I did just try putting the onesie on, but it wasn't quite enough. The grey was the wrong colour, so now I'm making rock camouflage on it. Look, that's jammed. Slow morning. Jackson's Bay. Hopefully, one day I'll get a place down here. And Come and live happily ever after with the sandflies and all the other blokes that live down here because I don't think there's actually any girls that live in this part of the country. Maybe there is. I don't think so. It's an anvil down here. I don't know why the girls don't like it. They probably don't like it because there's no supermarket. Shout out to Danny Reedy for hooking us up with a sweet pad. That's actually our accommodation for the night over there. But we just had to cook dinner and hang out in the main hotel here. Mm -hmm. Built it himself. He's done a fantastic job. Danny Reedy is uh, fairly well known in the helicopter world. He's worked in the venison recovery industry for years. Even let me shoot for him briefly for a while there till I had my first born and then no more shooting work for Josh. But look at this place. 
It's awesome. Look at some of these racks he's shot. Check out the sweet tea cozy. Good morning, guys. Ugh. Good morning. Good day, mate. Oh, he's adorable. He's almost as adorable as me when I was in my duck shooting get up. Dirty shark. Oh. Now the shark. Yep, shark. See you fellas how I deal with these things so you don't get a spike in the wrist. Uh, oh no, I oh know, we shouldn't be drinking and shooting. We're only having one beer just because. It did say someone left in the Mai Mai. So yeah, some, right. someone left them here. There's like three beers sitting there. We'll just have one beer each and then we'll go home. So yeah, low carb. It's, it's, we're, we're, we're athletes. Didn't even see you with that hut. Oh, about a foot above him. Oh, oh he it. that was just left, I think. He might have gone through his front shoulder on the left. No, that was just high. Nice. 360 floss. <laughs>